Mr. Steve. How are you? I'm good. How are you? It was great having Hugh Johnson on. I, I know. Love it is always so great. You and I have known him for way too long, I think. 30 years. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy, right? Yeah. And he recognized me when I walked by, by, by what? By the hair. By my hair he, were, color. he was behind the cameras, but he could see He goes, that that's going to be Steve. Fox. I see a guy with white hair over there. <laughs> hey, you know, yesterday we had the uh, kids at Cambridge Elementary School that raised money for the second chance yes. doing laps around the track. This young guy, I want you to introduce you to Joel. Now, this past weekend, the holiday weekend, you know, he told his mom, I want to raise money for the homeless pets at the Second Chance Animal Center, Joel Marco. And he did a car wash and collected food. And, Elisa, this is amazing. This young guy, now he's four years oh old. Oh, my god! Four years old. This is how motivated it is. He raised $100, collected Ooh. food. And there's Joel Marco washing a car to make money for the animals. Is that great? Oh, that's wonderful. I said to his mom, I go, that is, that is truly amazing at that age to think about homeless pets. So thank you. Hey, don't forget New York State Animal Advocacy Day. This is a big event next Tuesday. Begins at 930 at the uh, LOB, Legislative Office Building in Albany. There will be exhibitors, speakers, state lawmakers, law enforcement. We need your voice to be heard. Uh, we need, we do need to strengthen animal abuse laws and animal neglect laws, and we need you there. Once again, I am honored to be the MC of this year's event. And Petapalooza coming up not too far away. Mark it on your calendar. This is the biggest and best, biggest pet adoption day in New York State. Uh, Saturday, June 16th, 10 to 3, at seven store locations. You can go to their website. For all the details, I will be at the Boston Spa location, and I have some new Pet Connection merchandise that we will be debuting. Mm. Always a fun day. Allergy forecast, uh, the uh, pollen count is, uh, is high again, 10.2 today, 10.4 on Wednesday. Grass pollen is now showing up. 81 at Glens Falls, Albany 83. 77 at Rutland to 84 at Pittsfield. Hudson right now at 85. Now the humidity levels are dropping. It's getting better as drier air is coming down out of northern New England. This front sagging south. High pressure over Quebec will keep us uh, high and dry and more comfortable for the next uh, 24 hours. All the action continues to be out west. The remnants of Alberto producing heavy rain now in parts of Tennessee. This is going to track up into the Ohio Valley over the next 24 hours. Some of that moisture may eventually work its way eastward. But on the future cast, you can enjoy Wednesday. A little bit of patchy clouds or fog in the morning. It burns off and it should be a nice afternoon. Just the chance of a pop-up shower in the Adirondacks. All right, tonight getting more comfortable, a low near 59. Partly sunny tomorrow, a little bit humid, but really not bad. A high of 83. Becoming mostly cloudy Thursday, a chance of a shower west of Albany and a high near 80. On Friday, some sunshine, humid. Showers and thunderstorms more numerous in the afternoon, 86. Partly sunny on Saturday, 77. Now, there is a chance of a shower south of Albany. Partly sunny, 73. Sunday, mostly cloudy Monday, chance of a shower, 71. And there's still the chance of a shower, a thunder shower on Tuesday and a high near 70, but no washout. All right, mobile storm tracker is out. And all